how to make a man chase you. In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get a guy to pursue you and how to do it without playing games or being manipulative. It's Sabrina, your personal love advisor from A New Mode, the channel where we show you how love actually works. So why is it important to get a guy to chase you? Well, it comes down to basic biology. Men are hunters. Men are wired to want to pursue you. And unfortunately, a lot of women have taken that away from men by going after them so forcefully. Being aggressive about things may have served you in other areas of your life. Maybe it got you where you are in your career, but it will not help you when it comes to getting a guy. If anything, doing this is just gonna scare him away and it's just gonna make you look desperate. The chase is what gets a man to pursue you. Pursuing you is what leads him to investing in you and that is what leads him to commit himself to you. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it right. So make sure you watch this video all the way until the end. Real quick, if you like this video, if you find it helpful, please give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more relationship advice, ring the bell to turn on notifications, and leave me a comment letting me know what you think. I love hearing from you guys. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, have an amazing life. The way to get a guy to chase you is to be unavailable. And the, way, the best way to be unavailable is to have a full, amazing life where you have so much going on that you're not just gonna drop everything and run to a guy as soon as there's a guy in the picture. It's not about playing hard to get, it's about being hard to get. So fill your life up with things that make you happy. Have a lot of friends, pursue your passions. Passions are key, and I talk about this a lot. So you've heard me talk about this if you've watched my other videos. Having passions is what makes you feel alive. People are drawn to passionate people because they inspire us. Pursuing your passion just gives you that spark. It gives you that charge. It gives you that feeling of, okay, this is what I was meant to do in this world. And it helps build your self-esteem because you feel like you're activating your potential and you're living that potential. And this is so important in the realm of relationships because you're not relying on a man to make you feel good because you have so many other things in your life that make you feel good. So pursue your passions, make more time for them. My passion is writing. And whenever I really make time to write and express myself in that way, I feel alive. It fills me up and it really charges me. So find what it is for you. There's so much out there if you don't have a passion yet. You can experiment with cooking or baking or art or maybe volunteering or maybe learning a new language or reading more books or reading poems or trying to write a poem. Find something that really connects you to your essence and do that a lot. Number two, don't invest too soon. You don't win a man over by completely investing in him and just completely committing yourself to him right away. This is not what inspires a man to commit to you. If anything, it just makes you come across as desperate and needy and this will just push him away and he'll just find it very unattractive. Don't invest in him until he has invested in you. Keep yourself one pace behind him in the relationship and don't prioritize him until he has made you a priority. And do not treat him like your boyfriend if you are not yet his girlfriend. If you are not official, then you're not official you are free to date other people. If a guy really likes you and he senses he could lose you to some other guy, he will step up and snatch you and claim you as his real quick. This is why it's so important to do that. If you just completely commit to him and you're just all in, he has no motivation to change anything about your relationship or your situationship or whatever it is you have going on. Because why would he? As humans, we want to put in the bare minimum and get the maximum reward. And that's what you're giving him here. And he will not chase you if you are just right there. You have to continue living your life and not putting your all into the relationship, hoping that that inspires him to want you back and to want to treat you the same way. Number three, stop trying to win him over. So many women, and I used to be one of them, so I'm with you on this, just get so caught up in trying to win him over and show him how amazing we are so that he'll fall for us. And it just becomes all about him. What's he thinking? What's he feeling? Does he like me? How does he feel about me? And we analyze, we analyze, and we obsess. Shift your focus. Instead of obsessing over, does he like me? Change your focus to, do I like him? Is he worthy of me? Can he enhance my life? and try to look at him from that lens instead. When you're with him, stop analyzing your behavior and his behavior and seeing every little thing he did that may indicate he does like you or he doesn't like you and how he feels. Just be present and in the moment and engage with him and try to connect to him. Because if you're engaging with those worried thoughts in your head, 
you're not present, you're not there. And we can't form a connection with someone who's not there. You're in your own frenzied, worried thoughts. You're not present with him. So you won't even know what it is that you have because you're not even there for it. It's really important to step out of that and just focus on, is he good enough for me? That's it. Just try to think of it in those terms and just block everything else out. Number four, leave him wanting more. The best way to get him to chase you is if he always wants more of you. If you are always just right there, you're always texting back the second he texts you. You're always free to talk when he wants to talk to you. You're always available for a date when he wants to go on a date with you. There is no chase, there is no pursuit because you're just all in. It creates a lot of intrigue and excitement when he has to work a little harder for your time and for your attention. And you are a valuable woman. And so he he should work a little bit for you. Don't just hand yourself right over to him just because he shows a little interest in you. If you do what I suggested earlier about, you know, having a full, amazing life, then this will naturally happen because you naturally will be busy with other things and you won't just abandon everything as soon as he wants to see you or talk to you. So it's just important to be mindful of these things. Also, in the early stages of a relationship, it's so easy to just get so sucked into it and you're texting all day long and you're just kind of always, always going back and forth, back and forth. Don't be afraid to leave the conversation first. That creates intrigue and it leaves him wanting more. Also, don't answer questions before he's even asked them. Like he says, how was your day? You know, he texts you, how was your day? And you just give him a whole long dissertation and give him your whole life story. Don't do that. Let him learn about you slowly. And please don't talk yourself up excessively or just talk excessively. Now, this was always a problem for me. I talk a lot and I talk fast. And I know you guys always criticize me for how fast I talk in my videos. I'm really making an effort to slow it down. If it's still too fast for you, you can always adjust the playback speed on YouTube. But I feel like a lot of us struggle with this because you meet a guy and you like him and you want to show him how amazing you are. So you just talk and talk and talk because I have to tell a funny story so that he knows I have a good sense of humor. I have to tell a story that shows how kind I am. So I'm going to tell him about this nice thing I did when I helped an old lady cross the street. I have to show him that I have an amazing life. So I'm going to talk about my amazing life and all the places I've traveled to. I have to show him I have a good heart. I have to show him that I'm smart. So let me show off all the trivia that I know. We're like, you know, how is he going to know all these things unless I just show it to him? So I have to put on this whole show and this whole song and dance so that he knows how amazing I am. Don't do this. It comes across as desperate and, dr and it just makes you look dramatic and over the top and crazy. And I know this because that's how I was coming across when I look back at, at my behavior at, at why, you know, things just fizzled out or why guys ghosted me. It's because that's definitely something that I did. It ties into trying to prove yourself to someone don't do that because it's not, that's not alluring just showing him exactly who you are right away. It's so much more exciting to discover someone slowly. So let him discover you. You don't need to show him everything right away. He'll get there. He'll get there eventually. He'll see your big heart and how smart you are and all those things about yourself and trust that he will. You don't need to just spell it all out for him loud and clear. It's just, it's just too much. Number five, use your walking power. Walking power is not something that you say out loud. It is a belief that you carry internally. It is a belief that says, if this relationship isn't what I want, I have no problem walking away. And that's it. You don't say it out loud. You don't give out ultimatums or threats. It's just something you know internally. You're not relying on this guy for your self-esteem and to make you feel good about yourself. You know that if he doesn't treat you right, then that's it. You're okay with leaving. Only needy people settle for bad relationships and poor treatment because deep down, they kind of feel like they deserve it. And a man doesn't chase a needy woman. He's not afraid of losing a needy woman because she needs him too much. She's there. A man pursues and is afraid of losing a woman who has standards and who values herself because he knows that if he doesn't treat her right, she's gonna leave. And if he likes her, that's not what he wants. So he's gonna step up and give her that amazing treatment. Here is something that is very important that you need to remind yourself if you fall into that fear of losing the guy. You need to tell yourself as many times as necessary, I will be okay no matter what. If this works out, great. He's an awesome guy. If it doesn't work out, I'll be fine. Maybe you don't genuinely believe that. Maybe you really feel like the world is going to end if this guy loses interest in you and if you can't hold his interest. So just keep telling it to yourself because if, the more you tell it to yourself, the more it will become wired in and the more you genuinely will start to believe it. Don't cling to him desperately hoping he'll save you from something because that is so unhealthy and he can't do that for you. Try to just enjoy him, enjoy being with him. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. I'll be fine. Number six, be a high value woman. I touched on this earlier, but it's so important that it needs to be its own point on this list. Men do not chase needy women. Men chase high value women. 
who don't need them. When I say need them, men like to be needed because he wants to feel like he's enhancing your life. He does not want to feel like this woman is going to fall to pieces unless I validate her constantly throughout the day. And she needs me in order to feel okay. Nobody wants the responsibility of being in charge of someone's entire emotional well-being. And it's not his job, that's your job. You determine your worth in this world. It doesn't come from how many people follow you on Instagram. It doesn't come from what quality types of guys like you. It doesn't come from how many compliments you receive on a given day. You determine your worth. You do this by what you put up with how you allow people to treat you. You set the standard for that. I know this isn't always easy, so fake it until you make it. Act like a confident woman who values herself, and then you will become that. A good way to do that is to just ask yourself, would a confident woman settle for a guy who treats her badly? Would a confident woman stay with a guy who says he doesn't want to be in a relationship in the hopes that he'll change his mind? Would a confident woman fall to pieces because a guy loses interest in her or decides he doesn't want to be with her? No, a confident woman will say, okay, he's just another, not the right guy for me, I'll move on. A confident woman would say, he doesn't want a relationship with me, fine. I'm okay leaving this situation and finding someone who can give me what I want. Confident people don't put up with things that they don't want. And this is why they so often get what it is they do want. And this is why things work out for them for the most part. So decide right here, right now, that you are a confident, high value woman. If you don't believe it, act the part and it will become a part of you in time. All right, that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please give it a like. This will really help me out. It'll help me grow this channel. This channel is brand new and I'm really enjoying it. I really wanna spread this message with more and more people. So please give it a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or any comments. I love hearing from you guys. I try to answer everyone. For more relationship advice, follow anumode.com and follow me on Instagram at anumode. And I will see you guys in the next video.